Hey, what have these guys got? Ricky, can you make art with a straw? That's more like it. I choose you. Yay! So what are your names? I'm Poppy. I'm Rose. Nice to meet you, Poppy and Rose. And where are you from? Sutherland, yeah. Awesome. Well, art with a straw. I think I'm going to use a straw to make art that's out of this world. Just let me get my things. And I'm going to start by drawing a little window on this paper because I'm going to make a rocket. A nice little space porthole. I'm going to colour it in blue. I think it's kind of cool inside a spaceship, so yeah. that's what I'm going to go for. <laughs> now, with this tissue paper, I'm going to create some flames so it looks like the rocket's really blasting off. Cool. When I've made this rocket, it's going to end up being a game that you guys can play. You could both make rockets and maybe have a little space race game. So I've folded up this bit of tissue paper and I'm going to basically cut a shape into it so that when I unravel it, it looks like flames. Uh, I'm just going to fold up this other bit of tissue paper. Guys, what do you think is faster, a ninja or a rocket? A rocket, yeah. Yeah. Flames there. I could really do with some sticky tape, actually. Do you guys have any? Yeah. I could grab it using ninja skills. <laughs> ninja skills. Right, let's turn it over. I'm going to stick the yellow bit down first. And this is going to make it look like the rocket's going super fast. I'm just going to roll around this piece of paper and sticky tape it together. This is going to make the body of the rocket. I'm just going to cut a couple of slots into the top of my rocket. That's going to help me stick it to the nose cone. Now, I've just drawn around a plate and cut out a very thin piece of card here. And I'm going to cut a quarter out of it to make my nose cone. I'm just going to roll that cone around like that, and then I'm going to stick it down with some sticky tape. And voila. <laughs> now I'm going to put some sticky tape on the inside of my rocket, just so the cone will stick to it nicely. Slide the nose cone on, and I've got my hand inside to push all the sticky tape out. All right, and I think the rocket could do with some fins that stick out the side, you know, help its aerodynamicness. So I'm going to draw a couple of fins on here. Cut those out. So do you guys like doing art? Yeah. Have you got any pictures there you've done? Uh, the, the one that I did when I was younger, like a lot younger. Oh, I like it. The mum's friend's dog. <laughs> it looks awesome. I'm just folding the edges of the fins over so I can sticky tape them to the side of my rocket now. Right, now I'm going to take a trusty straw and I'm going to stick it along the back of the rocket. I bet you guys are wondering where the straw was going to come in. Yeah. Here you go, the rocket's pretty much done. What do you think? It's cool. It's going to be even better when it's flying through the air. So I have some cotton here, and this is going to work like the rail that the rocket shoots along. I'll be right back. Just going to go and tie it off. Go, tied it off, and I need to thread this through the straw. And it's easy if you're tight to think heavy. I'm going to use a cocktail stick in this case just to pull the cotton through. I've already tied the other end of this cotton to something on the other side of the room. So that's the rail that's going to fly along. Now, rockets need an engine, and I'm going to be using a balloon. <laughs> okay, I think it's ready to fly. Okay, here we go. Give it out of ten. We give it a ten. Thanks for your suggestion, guys. It's been brilliant. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Try making two of them and race against your friends. Hey, you there. Someone been winding you up? Other than you. Well, now you can play practical jokes on your mates with this delightful soap that looks like poo. Here's how you make it. Take a bar of soap and grate it into a bowl. Great. Done. Now pop that in the microwave for 10 seconds. Warm. 
Now take a tablespoon of coffee and add some warm water. And stir. Until it's a nice paste. Add that to your soap. And mix it with your hands. Really get in there. Now mold it into a sausage shape. Shape it as desired. Classic. Fake poo soap! Remember, it's not real, but it's excellent for cleaning you from top to bottom. To be fair, I do like most of the products he sells. This isn't my favourite, though. It's probably my number two. I need to stay safe and keep this safe until I decide what to do with it. I've got an idea where I could put it. It's the Art Ninja Piggy Bank Rubber. So I've got a balloon down here. It's become the main part of the pig's body. Tie that off. I've got a crisp tube here, but any tube with a lid will do. Now, I want to cut it just over the halfway point. So to get my scissors in there, take my fingers with some modelling clay. Poke a hole with a pencil. Now, I'm going to attach this to my balloon using masking tape. This crisp tube is going to become the snout. Next, I'm going to make it some legs or trotters. I'm using an old egg box. These make perfect little trotters. There we go. Now, I'm going to tape those onto the balloon. It doesn't need to be super tidy. I'm going to paper mache this in a moment anyway. Now, I'm going to use the top part of this box here. I'm going to draw some nice little pointy piggy ears. I'm adding a little bit extra at the bottom, and that's going to become flaps, so it's easier to stick it to the balloon. Now I'm just going to cut some slits along this bottom flap. I'm going to fold it slightly to give the ear a little curve. Makes it look more authentic. Stick them on with some masking tape. There you go, it's looking pretty good. The whole structure of the pig's there. I can now give it a nice layer of paper mache. So I've got some glue and water mix here. It's three parts PVA and one part water. I've cut my newspaper up into tiny little pieces. Just makes covering the whole thing a lot easier. If you're doing this at home, Remember to put some newspaper down to protect the table. I'm doing quite a few layers here because I need the piggy bank to be very strong. There you go, I've done lots of layers of my paper mache. Now I could wait for that to dry or I could use my ninja skills. Check it out. I've also given it a lovely white undercoat. Time to pop the balloon on the inside. Now I need to make a hole for my coins to go in. I'm going to start off with a sharp pencil and a book. And I'm just going to lightly hammer it in. There we go. And I'm going to make another hole at the back. And that's going to be for the tail. Now I've got this hole here, I can cut a nice slot for my coins. Make sure your slot is big enough for your largest coin. There we go. Now I can start putting on my design. Mine, of course, is a bank rubber. I'm using pencil because pen will show through when I paint it. There's one of his eyes, and this bit here is going to be the mask to hide his identity. Cheeky grin. And I'm going to give him a stripy top. Now I've got a great guide, I can start painting it. I'm going to start with his mask. I'm going to use black for that. Now I'm going to move on to his stripy top. I'm going to do that purple and white. A couple of bits around his trotters here. It's looking really good so far. I'm going to use a light pink to paint his face and his bottom. And I'm going to come back with a darker pink and do some little details. Now, carefully, I'm going to add some highlights to the eyes. Now I'm going to add a piggy tail. 
with a pink pipe cleaner. Just gonna wrap it around a pencil to make it nice and curly. I've left a little bit straight so I can push it into the hole I've made in his bottom. I painted the lid from the crisp tube a dark pink. That's gonna be the front of the snout. And now I'm gonna add some finishing touches with a black pen. Here's some nostrils and a cheeky grin. <laughs> there we are, check him out. Let's put a couple of coins in him. And of course you get him out, taking off the lid. But if you think a bank robber's a little bit too hammy, why not try one of these designs? A pirate, a clown, or even a baby. That picture moves without the power of the mind. That's because it's animated. Hey, guys. Oh, can I have a go? Um, uh, yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Oh, no! My T-shirt! Don't worry, mate. It's just an animation. Doesn't look like it's coming back down, though. Oh. To make this cool animation, you'll need some old T-shirts, some thick black pens, and a tablet with animation app installed. And you can put it together in just three ninja moves. Ninja move number one. Grab your T-shirts and your pen. It doesn't matter if they're all the same colour or different. I'm using the same colour because I want it to look like there's one T-shirt flying away. Then, you can start drawing your frame. A good tip when you're drawing your frames is to put something hard and flat inside the T-shirt to have a nice surface to draw on. So what I've done here is I've slipped the secondary T-shirt over the first one, and it means I can see the lines of the first. It's kind of a form of onion skinning, which means I can use it as a guide to draw my next frame. And it's very important that you number them so you know what order the frames come in. Ninja move number two. It's time to dress your animation model but make sure you put the T-shirts on in the right order. Ninja move number three. So I've got my tablet device set up, and I'm going to need Rich to take off a T-shirt every time ready for the next frame. That's number three, isn't it? And to make my T-shirt fly away, we're going to gradually lift it higher between frames. So we've shot all of our frames. I think it's time to take a look at our mini masterpiece. Ah, oh, yes! Yeah. <laughs> I'm awesome. really happy. I think that's an amazing one. All right, mate. Don't drone on about it. Uh, uh? Come on, Ella. I wonder where that T-shirt's going to come back. <laughs> Everyone's big on spying tips, but here's a quick art tip. How to draw a submarine. I'm going to start with the waterline. And I'm going to draw my submarine shape. It's kind of a long egg shape. Slightly more pointed at one end. Little nose cone. And then some portholes. I'm going to draw three. Have a little viewing station at the top here. Little window there. And a periscope so they can see what's going on above the water. Some fins at the back, controlling where it goes. This one at the front's straight onto us, so it just looks flat. And I'm going to go out towards the propeller. And the blades of the propeller are like leaves. Finally, a few bubbles just flying at the back. There we go, another quick art tip. 